from outside of the arena. Come on, Double A. with man how about it a couple of speed bumps the last couple of weeks that is a bull that had bumped him off back last fall but not today how about 87 and a quarter on v dress Let's go! Come on! It's gonna be good. Come help on. him! Help him! Yes! How about that? Jesse Petri having some fun out here. Good job. Watch this replay. Look at Petri. Yep. That bull's going to turn back to the left. Look at his left hand down into his hand, and they're just going to go spinning until he opens up that right foot oh, yeah. to show those judges he's in control. Right now, he's in control of the leaderboard. Hey, everybody, look at that guy on the big screen. Now let him hear you make some noise for 87 and three-quarter points. Oh. I love it. Olá pessoal, bem-vindos de volta aqui no nosso canal com mais informações sobre a Pibiara Unleash the Beast, evento que esse final de semana aconteceu em New Orleans, no estado da Louisiana, e dois dias completamente diferentes. No primeiro dia foram 16 montarias de sucesso, vocês viram aí as montarias do Andrew Alvidres e do Jesse Patrick, que ficaram na quarta e na terceira colocação. Melhor que eles, o canadense Nick Todds, que ficou na segunda colocação. E o primeiro lugar, novamente, para Dalton Castle. Ele que fez uma montaria de 90 pontos, coletou 29 pontos no ranking mundial, levou aí o primeiro round. E são as montarias do Nick e do Dalton que a gente vê na sequência. All right, Nick. He's ready to go. Here we go. Watch the Canadian. Look at this! Oh, oh. oh, look out! How about the Canadian? Fired up! He's ridden three out of the four bulls he's been on since coming to the United States. It, and he's proven right now that he is here and he means business. And the numbers to beat are 87 and three quarters. How about 88 points? Wow, Dalton Castle, absolutely outstanding. Why did we call him Mr. 90 last season? Ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are in. How about 90 points? He does it again. Another... 90 pointer and Dalton Castle just continues to put the heat on the rest of the world leaders. Bom, o segundo dia de evento foi inacreditável, apenas cinco montarias de sucesso. Realmente os touros estavam aí dominando esse evento e o Jesse Petri foi um dos únicos três cowboys que conseguiram fazer duas montarias de sucesso 
Outro cowboy que conseguiu foi o José Vitor Leme, ele que montou o Bread Basket por 88 e 25. É, gente, vamos dar uma olhadinha aí nos melhores momentos desse segundo round, que não foi tão bom assim para os cowboys. Liderança, então, de Jesse Petra até o momento. There we go. Jesse Petri all aboard the Soul Train. We've got a new leader in Nola. Great ride by Petri here. And look, he's not going to be that 90 like I was hoping for. Soul Train just didn't have that kind of day. But it was a good day and it was a good solid ride by Jesse. Watch it back on the Can-Am cam. Really fires around the corner, but then he just gets kind of slows down, gets pretty nice to ride. Petri does this. This guy's got a lot of ability. He's a longer, lankier guy, but he really looks good on the back of a bull. Still awaiting scores. They come in finally 86 and a quarter, and he is the only qualified ride in the round so far, and therefore a full bull ahead. Perfect. Basket that is toast as Lemmy gets to taste redemption against a bull that is going to send him to the championship round. Uh, that's a great ride. Got big scores coming in. And look, we said that bull likes the ride, but we did see him start left a couple of weeks ago. We didn't realize Jose was on his back. Bad move going to the left. 88 and a half and most importantly because of such few rides in the round mac that moves him to second overall yeah i mean he's gonna have a shot at, at winning another event you know having a really low score in the first round but coming back with a huge answer right here speaking of answers you want to know how much that means to our world number one take that in let's send it down to key e aí chegou o Championship Round, rodada dos campeões, 12 cowboys e nenhum cowboy conseguiu fazer montaria de sucesso. Realmente uma dominação dos touros nesse evento em New Orleans, no estado de Louisiana. O cowboy que conseguiu chegar mais próximo ali foi o Cooper Davis, com 5.23 segundos, mas também não completou a montaria, né gente? Então ficou assim o resultado. Primeiro lugar, Jess Petri. Segundo lugar, Kyler Oliver. E terceiro lugar, o José Vitor Leme. Os melhores touros foram o Flapjack e o Cool Whip. Ambos os touros da companhia DNA Cattle Company. Eles conseguiram 45,5 e 46 pontos. São essas montarias, quer dizer, o desempenho desses touros, né? Que a gente vai ver aqui na sequência. Lembra lembrando para vocês que nós temos lá o nosso Instagram, Cowboys Underline by Underline Mabel. Temos também o nosso TikTok, que é igualzinho, Cowboys Underline by Underline Mabel. E se você ainda não se inscreveu aqui no nosso canal do, Insta do YouTube, se inscreva, ativa o sininho, que toda vez que a gente colocar um vídeo novo, você vai ficar sabendo. Lembrando que estaremos também ao vivo, diretamente das arenas lá da PBR Unleash the Beast, grande final em Fort Worth, que vai ser ali no Dick's Arena. Contamos com a presença de vocês aqui. E lembrando também, gente, segue os nossos... Aqui nós temos um especial de bull riding, então é 15 seconds of bull riding, aqui no nosso Shorts no YouTube. Beijos e até semana que vem. Still staying with him, you know? Huge scores coming in, by the way. 46 right there. That does nothing but improve his chances at winning yes. the world title. But, you know, Castle was, he was getting around there, but you could see, like, he was getting to the end of his arm. His head was getting snapped. You knew that couldn't last right there. So with Dalton's buck off, the top of the world standings now becomes very clear. Lemmy is going to stay number one. Going to Lima. Well, it was certainly a weekend for the Bulls as Petri 
tastes defeat for the first time, falling to Flapjack in around four and a half. The Bulls go a perfect 12 and 0 in the championship round. Yeah, hats off to the Bulls, the stock contractors, 45 and a half. The numbers for Flapjack. And look, that was as an impressive a set of Bulls as, as you're ever going to want to see all put together in one place. And some top guys banged up, Bulls taking advantage. Well, here's that page showing you our winners and place getters.